Summer has come to the island, and with it, more tourists, more business, and the baking sun. The Antics had to take long breaks for drinks of water. At the day's end, all the engines would be worn out. I get no rest. Oh, hush, Duncan. We all feel like our boilers are fit to burst. I feel like my petrol tank is going to blow as well. We should all get rest tonight, because tomorrow we'll have to do it all again. With that, Scarlet went to sleep. Duncan, Sir Handel, and Rusty followed. Peter Sam thought to himself, Everyone else is straining with summer heat. Hmm. Next morning, the engines were getting ready for the day's work, and Duncan began complaining again. Ugh, I have the first train. Why can't any of you have it? I can take it. The other engines were shocked, but Duncan didn't turn down his offer. Okay then. Peter Sam took Duncan's train. It didn't take long for the summer heat to make an impact on him. When the train run was finished, he had to take a long drink. While Peter Sam was having his drink, Carloe pulled up with another train. He looked worn out as well. Hey, Peter Sam. Scarlet, are you okay? Hmm? Oh no. A drink and I'll be alright. Peter Sam stopped filling up on water. No, no. The return train will be in about five minutes. That's more than enough time for me to rest. I'm taking a return train anyway. You just rest up here and then return to the sheds when you're ready. Scarlet reluctantly agreed. His coaches were shunted to the back of Peter Sam. And Peter Sam was off. The heat continued to beam down on him, but Peter Sam pressed on. He made it to the last station and backed into the shed. Sir Handel noticed how strange he was. You need to stop taking all these cover trains. I'm fine. Just then, the workman walked up to the shed. We have a coal delivery that needs to be taken to the wharf. I'll take it. What? No. I haven't taken a train all day. Let me take it. Huh. That's a first. Peter Sam, I'm serious. You need to rest here. I'll be fine. And Peter Sam pulled out of the sheds. On the way to the wharf, he had once again begun to make an impact. Peter Sam ignored it. However, with a lack of rest, the heat hit hard on Peter Sam. More and more steam started coming out. Eventually, the boiler cracked. The driver immediately stopped Peter Sam. We can't go any further, or he'll blow up, Peter Sam. Peter Sam sat there in silence. His driver found a telephone to call for help. Soon enough, Sir Handel came to the rescue. Well, well, he said. What did I tell you? Sir Handel brought the train to the wharf and took Peter Sam home. Peter Sam promised himself to never take a covered train unless it was really important. 